At the heart of any beehive is the bee frame. These bee frames are in high demand in the honey industry and require a great deal of manual labor to manufacture. Our team, Swift Automation, has designed and developed a cell to automatically assemble these frames at a rate of one frame every 30 seconds. The cell is comprised of five stations. The first of these stations is part pickup, gluing, and placement. It is here that the wooden components of the frame, a top bar, bottom bar, and two end bars are brought into the cell via automatic feeders. The robot picks up these singulated parts and places them on the turntable. In the case of the two end bars, the robot positions the parts to be glued before placing them into the nest and sliding them into the bottom bar. With all wooden components placed, the turntable is able to rotate, positioning the frame at station 2, foundation sheet placement and clamping. Here, a wax-coated foundation sheet is singulated from a stack and dropped between the wooden pieces. The nest clamps then retract, pulling the frame together and locking the foundation inside. When the cell is ready, the table turns again. This brings the clamped frame to station 3, stapling. Staple guns mounted to a gantry move to staple both ends of the wooden frame. This holds the frame together, allowing the glue to properly set. The turntable rotates again, moving the frame one last time. The completed frame will arrive at station 4, part picking, inspection, and stacking. The part is picked by a servo-controlled gantry, then inspected by a Cognex vision system to ensure the staples have been properly applied to both sides of the frame. If a staple is missing or misplaced, the part will be rejected and removed by an operator. Otherwise, the frame will be placed on a stack with alternating orientation. The height of this stack is determined by operators using the HMI. Frames continue to be built and stacked, with all operations running parallel to each other. When enough completed frames have been placed, the stack is moved out by the conveyor. This brings the stack to the fifth and final station, strapping. In order to keep the frames bundled together and allow for greater ease of movement, two straps are applied to the stack of finished parts. Once the straps have been applied, the stack is kicked out of the strapping machine and onto rollers for operator pickup. The cell is designed to run both deep and shallow frame types, and it will continue to build stacks of the desired height and frame size until it either runs out of parts or it is told to shut down.